is going on everybody i hope everyone is having a great day in this tutorial we are going to start with making a new rails project we are going to learn how to add the bootstrap library to your rails project and this is by using the gem and not by using the actual source files if you don't know what twitter bootstrap is i will include a link below but it's a very easy way for easy css and JavaScript markup, it's a way to beautify your site essentially. It's a way to make your site look good on mobile and web and desktop. So without further ado, let's get inside. So I just made a quick Rails project. I'm gonna CD inside that. I'm gonna go to our gem file. In our gem file, we have all the gems we use. These libraries are what are you are what are used throughout our wrap app. So what we're going to do is we're going to interact, we're going to import or use the gem bootstrap SAS. Now, if you don't know what SAS is, SAS is used widely throughout Ruby on Rails. It's an easier way to write CSS, just like they advocate CoffeeScript instead of JavaScript. Okay, so now that we've added that gem, we haven't installed it yet. So we're going to, we're going to leave that file and run bundle install. And as you can see, it was installed right here. Okay, so now what we have to do is we actually have to tell our CSS files and our JavaScript files about the newly added content, our newly added library. So we're going to do that by going into our application.js folder, and we're simply going to do this thing we're going to do is we are going to rename our default application.css file to a .sass file, which is by extension .scss. The way we can do this is in the terminal is by simply doing move assets style sheets app assets style sheets application.css to the same thing but instead of application.css, we do scss. Boom. Okay, so now we've actually changed the file extension of that application.css file. Now we're going to access it. And so now we don't need any of this require stuff. And instead, we're just going to do an at import. So we're going to do at import. bootstrap sprockets just like the last file and we're going to do import bootstrap so this is going to import every file we need to use for the css also something we have to use sorry is we have to use semicolons for the .css file the thing to do is to actually try out this code. So without further ado, let's go to our application.html.erb folder and let's write some quick bootstrap co code. All the bootstrap code and links and tutorials you can find in the description below. Done that. That's it. You are completely done. Then you can go on getbootstrap.com. I'll have a link. And you can look at the examples and just copy and paste some of the HTML in there to learn about the column system they have or the grid system they have and how to add buttons and make a simple website like this, for instance. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and have the best day of your lives. I also started a Twitter, so please follow me on Twitter if you're still watching this. Also, let me know what I can improve.